Hey everyone, uh, so we are here doing another podcast and um, so this is live on YouTube um, and hopefully the chat is going and if you have questions or there's anything, any comments you want to make, you can put that in the chat um, and we're also doing this on Instagram live and so if you, um, if you have any questions or comments, um, you know, feel free to to put that in the chat in the chat, and you can um, tell us where you're watching from. It's always fun for us to see uh, where in the world uh, you're listening to this, um, and this will be uh, recorded and then put out on our podcast channel on Spotify. Um, where else do we have it? Spotify, Apple, SoundCloud. Podcasts. Yeah, the podcasts. Apple Podcasts. Yeah, Apple Podcasts. Um, Okay, so um, let's get started. Uh, Welcome to another episode of Light Movement Podcast. And uh, we are talking about today um, the magic of mentorship and all about mentorship. And we have some interesting guests. So I have Daphne Lind here, Milan. Daphne, what is it? (laughs) It's Daphne Lind because you're married, but your art name is still Milan. So. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know what to call you anymore. Daphne Lind. Either, yeah. Either one. Do you even know what you're called? I guess Daphne Milan Lind. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, Milan can be your middle name. (laughs) Um, And then we are very soon going to have some other guests joining us with Zoom. So this will be our first time doing a Zoom uh, intervention. No, it's not an intervention. Integration. Integration. That's what I meant to say. (laughs) Um, and, uh, so yeah, it's exciting. Like we're trying new stuff. And this is my first podcast. This is your first podcast. Yeah. Wow. How cool. I'm, I'm always listening to podcasts, but I have never been a part of one. Well, always a first. Um, okay. So let's get into it. Um, I wanted to talk today about, uh, uh, mentorship because I think that, um, and I think a lot of us would agree that mentorship and having a mentor, uh, being a part of, uh, you know, some sort of mentoring process is really crucial for faster growth and success. Um, and I'm not saying that you can't <clears throat> become successful without a mentor. Of course you can. Uh, but I think it just goes quicker uh, and, and probably smoother and easier and it's richer. It's like a richer experience with a mentor. So um, we're kind of, that's, that's the topic today. Um, so Daphne, what, what does mentorship, when you hear that word, what does that mean to you? I think to me, it's like really just, I guess somebody, somebody with more experience talking, helping someone with less experience, or even, even if it's not that the person has more experience, just being a part of their life and helping them like learn, grow. Um, yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, I also just kind of spaced out the fact that possibly people that are listening don't know who you are. So we should actually introduce you so people know who you are and what your experience is and kind of where you come from. So why don't you just say a little bit about yourself? Um, well, my name is Daphne. Uh, I'm an artist and I am a, a coach for the mastery program, the online mastery program. And I also um, kind of manage and help, uh, I guess, manage the whole coaching system. So I, you know, organize lots of the technical part of the coaching and um, help. We do it together. We both kind of help train uh, the other coaches, too. So I'm still learning. You know, I've only been doing coaching for about almost two years now. So, but I really love it. It's like something I'm really passionate about and, um, yeah. Yeah. And then just a little bit about your art career. Um, Daphne, of course, is, uh, my daughter, my second oldest, uh, Dimitra's sister. And, uh, you, um, started selling your artwork almost about the same time as Dimitra, you were 15 as well. And, uh, I mean, you sold a little bit before that, but like more professionally Mm -hmm. about when you were 15 and you were, um, represented, um, for a little while by, um, uh, uh, a publisher or a a representative and you, uh, 
did a lot of like VIP events uh, through Park West Gallery and um, participated in all kinds of auctions. And I got to be there the first time you sold a painting for over five thousand dollars. And I felt I literally felt like I could feel your heart like leaping out of your chest when when that happened. And I told you that was a great moment to mm -hmm. see. And you had to speak in front of a bunch of people and share your thoughts and your heart with a bunch of collectors and a lot of wealthy people. And uh, so you you definitely have some experience selling art and being, you know, at exhibitions and shows mm -hmm. and, and a part of things like that. Um, anyway, I just wanted to give a little background about you and yeah. what you've done. Uh, so um, our stories are very different, obviously. And I would say very briefly, I'm going to give kind of my background in mentor mentorship. I started my career with zero mentorship. I always wanted a mentor. I, I, uh, I prayed for mentors. I, I wanted them. I was always seeking. Um, and I, I called up several artists and, and would ask them questions. Um, and nobody would share their information with me. Uh, every artist I, I happened to call was very, um, kind of cold and protective and didn't want to share information. Mm -hmm. um, I read a lot of success books about time management, um, you know, operating businesses, people skills, things like that. So I would consider those books uh, helped me along the way. Um, and it wasn't until uh, about, I would say, 15 years into my career that I had a mentor, but it wasn't an artist mentor. Um, she was more of a, a spiritual mentor and she really helped me grow spiritually and you know very dear friend of mine very special relationship and i would say for me that was that was the extent of my my experience with mentoring and i i think i would have gone quicker mm -hmm. had i had a mentor but a lot of times i think the reason it was so difficult and slow and i had to persevere is so that i could teach other students and i would know all the mistakes if i had a mentor i probably would have avoided most of those mistakes but then i wouldn't have um you know the experience you know mm -hmm. so i suffer i suffer for the others <laughs> no just kidding that's what Greeks say. They say they suffer. Okay, so Daphne, what about you? What is your, um, what what would you say? Did you do you feel like you had mentors? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think, like especially with my art and really my whole, I mean, a lot of areas of my life. You and and uh, my dad, we have you guys have both been like mentors, you know, of course, with life, but especially with art and Demon Show too. Demon Show was really like helped me a lot in the beginning like especially before I took the master program and during I would just she would help me so much with like there's just so much so much that goes into art that's more than just you know learning how to paint mm -hmm. and because you know I was close with you guys I, I mean I've always been close we it just was really helpful to have like and a real natural fit yeah yeah what were some things that you felt like Dimitra uh helped helped things along what were, what were areas that she you felt like she really mentored you in well I think uh definitely like with my style I feel like I she always was she was always telling me things like to push me to like push my style and not just settle to like I don't know just paint whatever mm -hmm. she would she would always help me to like go, go further into my style and I think you helped me more with the, like, I don't know, working hard and, like, learning how to, like, put in the time. Mm -hmm. And so together it was kind of, like, a good balance of learning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any other mentors along the way? Well, also, yeah, I, um, my friend Rachel, she was, like, my horse trainer, and she helped a, me a lot in my life. Just I lived with her for a little bit. I was doing some training with her, with her horses, and... She helped me with with my horse and learning how to just handle him because he was really difficult at times. And yeah, um, she really just taught me a lot about working hard and like you know doing things with excellence and yeah, yeah, yeah. I I would say Rachel had a very impact, big impact on your life. I could just as your mom, um, kind of watching it mm -hmm. um, from the side, I could see. Um, I'm, I'm really thankful for her because I could see a lot of growth. 
Um, I think that she, you were struggling at one point when you were maybe around 15 or so and you were working with Rachel, you, and you had Robbie, that kind of naughty horsey, uh, and you were struggling with your authority and your leadership and confidence and being able to really stand in authority. And don't you think that that kind of opened things up where now, you know, as, at a, as a young, at a young age, you are a mentor for other artists and you know that must be a struggle at some point to feel like you mentor people who are older than you mm-hmm. and it's almost like that you know knowing your identity and your authority and yeah uh, is is a big part of that and and yeah. not feeling like that kind of uh what's that shrinking back feeling yeah like you're not good enough you're not good like, enough right? you don't have the I don't know, authority, like you're saying, yeah. Yeah, or wisdom, Mm -hmm. you know. Uh, Yeah, so interesting. Um, What do you think are some really uh, important attributes to have if you're seeking a mentor uh, or you are a mentor to others, you know, since you you do mentor others and you also are being mentored um, still? So what are some attributes you've valued in having, you know, that you've seen in mentors and that you know you need to have while mentoring? I think the main thing is, uh, I guess, like problem solving, like, like figuring out like what really is the problem, you know, even when, when you can be like, oh, like, like if, I don't know, someone has a problem, they, what they think is the problem isn't always the real problem. Mm -hmm. And so kind of like seeing deeper and like finding solutions really and, and understanding to like understanding where the person is at and like what they're. I don't know, circumstances are and and how to overcome things in the best way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. I like yeah. that. Um, I think uh, my thoughts on that is that I think mentors should be uh, experienced in whatever it is they're yeah, mentoring in. Of course, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that you can't have choose a mentor who is sort of teaching from – you know, uh, theory, they have to have lived it and are living it. And, and uh, that's really important that it's not head knowledge. It's, it's really heart Mm -hmm. knowledge from experience. And I think it's also really important that mentors are honest and that they'll tell in love and kindness in a kind way, will still tell you like it is. Yeah. Um, sometimes I know, uh, it's hard to say things to people sometimes that you know they're not going to want to hear, mm-hmm. but ultimately will help them. And you can't sort of be afraid to be disliked or, um, you know, unpopular in the moment. And you have to look towards the greater good at, you know, what what is really going to move this person along. Yeah. And, of course, you have to say it with, with sensitivity and kindness um, in their language and the way they, they can hear things through that rapport and that relationship. Mm-hmm. But to not say it because you feel, oh, they might get offended or upset, you're really kind of doing them a disservice. So yeah. I think for people that are seeking a mentor, you have to be teachable. You have to be ready, right? Mm-hmm. And um, have you ever um, mentored people that, you know, are not as teachable as you would have liked? Uh, I think... Yeah, definitely in some ways, but um, I think people, usually, everyone I've ever worked with, it seems like they eventually, if they want it bad enough, they, they put in the, the time and the effort to, to change things and, and make mm-hmm. it happen. But um, I definitely think it's important for when you're, you know, a ra- when, you're ha- when you have a mentor to mm-hmm. be open and listen to them, you know, because that's kind of what you want them for. Yeah. To, yeah. Well, you know, I might be like, I might have been when I was younger, like really slow. But I remember um, when when I first got going in my art career, it didn't even occur to me to want to mentor, to look for one or to have one. It just it didn't occur to me. It was just like, I want to be an artist. I'm going to go try this, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, but I remember when I read some of those success books, uh, I um, and I used to listen to these motivational tapes. Uh, we didn't have podcasts back then, um, but I would listen to motivational tapes, like a cassette tape you put in your car. And anyway, and I remember hearing on there, they said, like I said, we made phone calls and I guess it just, you know, wasn't meant to be or I didn't know how to look or so yeah. I think for the most part that, um, you know, that 
that uh, I don't know if it's a proverb or what, but there's like a famous quote of, you know, when the student when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know. I for me, that wasn't exactly the case. Um, But I but now after all this time, I I think I know why. Um, But I think for the most part, that is very true. Uh, Yeah. You know, that that when when the student is ready. So, yeah. um, Well, do you have any other additional thoughts that are? Well, I think just going with that, like some people, it makes sense that like even for you, it was hard to just like, like have a mentor to start with because it's it's kind of a weird thing to like go about like mm-hmm. it's like finding a friend you know like yeah. you can't really <laughs> will do you it. be my mentor yeah so will you be my friend usually yeah. it just kind of happens naturally where you I don't know at least most of the people I know it comes it comes just by I don't know law of attraction or something like that right unless there's a formal system set up for yeah. that yeah. and certain industries have that you know mm-hmm. certainly in um health and fitness right yeah that's that's probably one way. Um, a lot of times in business and marketing, um, yeah. you know, entrepreneurship. Uh, and I don't know that in art there's a lot of – I think it's very rare for mm-hmm. successful artists to teach other successful artists. Yeah, they usually just want to keep it all to themselves, it feels like. like yeah. Most, or a lot of artists think that when they're becoming an artist, they have to – do it themselves and that like that's the only way to like learn just on their own yeah yeah and um I think one reason why in art I mean we're always kind of going back to that sort of lack mentality of starving artist kind of thought um I think that what's been sort of deep rooted in in the arts and in the art industry um is this idea of scarcity and this idea of lack yeah and that uh, if you help other artists, you're creating competition for yourself. And I remember when I first started uh, uh, teaching, the, my first exposure to teaching is uh, I was asked to teach on marketing uh, to artists, um, you know, for artists at a, um, it was a, it was like an artist league or something. Anyway, they invited me to speak and teach in this like three-day workshop. And this is before I had the school. So I had no experience in teaching or sharing or anything. So I went in there and I just shared my knowledge. And about halfway through, I, it occurred to me, I was thinking, what am I doing? I'm like creating all this competition for myself. I'm telling all these people how to do it and, you know, who to contact and what to do. And I'm sharing like you know, freely all this information for like, I think like I got paid like $500 or something, you know, really small. And, and I was like, why am I doing this? This isn't smart. And right away, I just got this check in my gut. Um, you know, I, it was probably God, but I, I just felt like I heard this voice kind of saying, don't, don't agree with that thought. The more you give, the more you get. The more generous you are with your knowledge, the more knowledge you'll receive. Mm -hmm. Um, If you're generous with your wisdom, you'll receive more wisdom. And it's like I had that one for just a fleeting moment, had that one thought one time, you know, of of conserving my knowledge. And since then, since I, I got that revelation, it... I've never had that thought since. And I've, I've always wanted to share anything I know freely. Mm-hmm. And have you ever struggled with that? Like, why am I telling these people this stuff? They're, you Not know, really. like, no. Yeah, <laughs> that's really. good. Maybe just because that's how I, I've just always been around that kind of environment where you guys are teaching or always yeah. sharing ideas. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyway, that's what I think is behind um you know some yeah. artists not wanting to share their knowledge mm-hmm. um and or i think feeling like nobody's there to give it to them yeah. yeah and i'm sure there are artists out there that are generous and don't have that mentality i just um i don't i don't know that it's 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 something that you see too often yeah um well so should we invite our guests can you do the little zoomy thing so we have um that we're pulling up here on Zoom. So we're gonna see if this works. Hopefully hopefully it all works out and there's no glitches here in the system. But uh, we are pulling up three students um, that are at, are at varying stages um, in their learning process of becoming a professional artist. So these are people like literally in the throes of, of pursuing art as their career and uh, I think one of them is just uh, like 
um, just, you know, about to graduate, working on their portfolio, working on their marketing things. Um, and uh, so we're, while we're waiting for them to come on. Um, and then another, uh, and, and so some are just beginning, one is just beginning and one's kind of midway through. So we thought it'd be interesting to get their perspective on this topic of mentorship. And so, um, so I'm just gonna introduce who we have here. So these are three artists, uh, at, like I said, at varying stages of, of their journey here. Um, so we have Pyle and, hi Pyle, can you hear me? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Maybe it's not working. Can is you guys it, hear us? Is our microphone? Um, hold on. I can hear you. Oh, great. Okay. I can hear, I can hear you now. Hi. Hi. Okay. So we have Pyle and then we have, um, I can't read that. I don't have my glasses on. Jenny. Jenny. That's right. Jenny Kirkin. Okay. So we have Jenny and then we have uh, Katarina. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Hi. So good to see you. Yeah, this is so exciting. This is working. I feel so like, I don't know, advanced. space age advanced. Um, I know you guys can't see us, but we can see you. Um, so that might be weird, but hopefully not too weird. Um, okay, so just, um, we'll just kind of go around. Pyle, just introduce yourself real quick and just tell us a little bit about your about you. Hi, thank you for having me. Um, my name is Pyle. Um, I have actually been a nurse practitioner for many, many years, and um, I've always kind of just done art on my own um, and just trying to figure everything out myself. Um, I have two young boys, um, one's six and one's three. Um, we live in Connecticut, um, and I'm very thankful, really, really thankful for this program. I started in um, September, so I've come a long way just in a, in a few months, and I'm really grateful. Yeah, that's awesome. And you have a mentor, um, Michael, I think Michael Coda is your mentor. Is that correct? Yes, he's amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. And, um, and so okay, and then Jenny Daphne actually is your mentor, right? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> okay. And so tell us a little bit about you. Uh, I'm actually a social worker by profession, but an artist soul since forever. <laughs> so uh, stepping into this mentorship program has been wonderful for me, and especially the Milan Art Institute. So uh, I just recently got married in December, and I'm working part-time while I'm building the business here as an artist. Wow, that is so awesome. That's so exciting. Um, and, and then also... Um, Hmm. I wonder if we should have uh, put a way to like, anyway, um, we'll tell us, tell us your Instagram handle so that people who are listening um, can look you up. Yeah, I saw that I couldn't get my full name here, but it's the uh, Jenny, as you see it with Y and then G-E-U-K-E-N underscore awakened underscore art on Instagram. Okay, so I'm gonna get a page out by May. <laughs> so. Okay, and so maybe uh, you can, if you can manage that, you can write that. Okay, and then Pyle, tell us what your Instagram is. Do you have an Instagram yet? I do. Okay, um, I mean it's, everybody. Um, it's artistic nurse. So at artistic nurse. Artistic nurse. Okay. And then Katerina, um, tell us, tell us a little bit about, about you. I think Dahlia, Dahlia yeah, is your mentor. Is that right? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. I think we froze for a second. Okay. okay, Katerina, so go ahead. Just just start over. If you were yeah, talking, we missed it. Yeah, so I, I wasn't sure if you hear me. Or not. We can hear you now. Yeah, okay. Well, thank you, Kate, for okay. last, last year. year. So I'm in the portfolio section at the end, actually, almost at the end by now. And um, 
I've always had like passion for art since I was a kid, but I studied something else. I worked as a quality engineer for many years, and then uh, I saw the mastery program on Facebook, and I don't know, I just felt that that's the right choice for me, so I decided to take it, and it was probably the best decision, like ever that I could make. I'm really happy with it. And I'm also really happy that I chose the coaching option because it made everything like so much easier for me, I would say. And I'm not sure if I could manage to, you know, do as much as I could without it. So it was like the perfect option for me. And as you... I like to be guided a little bit. Mm hmm. And that's great. And you're living in um, Czech Republic. Is that right? Yes, that's right. OK, that's that's so cool. I've been to Prague a bunch of times and I love it. So, yeah, it's a beautiful city. It is a <laughs> magical city. Yeah. Um, OK, so um, how I'm wondering, like before you took the program. Uh, so this is kind of to all three of you just be thinking. Um, before you took the program, if you think back to when you were signing up and you were considering, should I do it? Should I not do it? I don't know. Um, and you were researching and you were reading about it and you were, you know, uh, wondering, should you do it? Um, and then that moment that you signed up, like what, where would you say your belief level was? If I, if I were to be in that moment with you and ask you, do you really believe you can be a professional artist and make a full a full time living as an artist. Would you say that you, you know, believed it fully, or you were just hoping, or or what? So, Pio, what about you? Um, well, um, I've learned about you guys like through the um, your art conference last uh -huh. summer. Um, and that like totally blew me away. Um, I was just expecting to just go to an art conference <laughs> and then I was like, wait a minute, there's, there's more to this. There's something that I can actually do with this. Um, cause I was for years, I was just like trying to figure things out and, you know, I was making money as a nurse practitioner, but I was like, you know, my heart was always in my art, you know? And so, um, uh, what did I feel um, as soon as I signed up? I I mean because because of the way that you guys explain things very so well it was um, I would say like seventy percent. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. And then the first week I was like, what did I do to myself? Because the, whole, <laughs> <laughs> the whole the whole oil thing was like um, really tough for me at first. Like that resistance like went way up here. Yeah. <laughs> Because there's then, a lot, like, a lot of information thrown at you all at one time. Yeah, but then like I was asking a million, million questions to Michael, and he was just breaking everything down. Like, and then I was like, okay, it's really not as complicated as I'm making it. Yeah. So that helped a lot. Um. So, uh, Jenny, what about you? Would were you like, did you really believe in yourself and this whole thing in the beginning, or it was something you had to kind of grow in? Uh, I think for me, it's always just felt like this calling um, and it's just like this creative side and the artistic side of me was just growing larger and larger. And I just like, I have to do this at some point in time and I've been feeling called to do it and I've just been doing it on my own. And I just, I was realizing that I'm going really slowly, just doing everything by myself. And then I saw this course pop up. And I'm like, this actually looks like something that would be so great. And, you know, I, it made me really believe that it was possible to be able to have it as my own business. And, um, and especially with the, allowing the mentoring there as well, because I was kind of scared of just doing it on my own because then I was afraid of getting stuck again because I've been doing a lot of it on my own before. And um, I actually felt really guided to saying yes to this course. And it's like one of the best decisions I ever made. <laughs> and it's just felt so right. And, uh, you know, I really felt that God was actually guiding me to take this course. And, uh, and so from taking it, I, it's just like, yes, it's just felt so right. 
Uh, Katrina, did you did you um, sort of uh, you know believe you could be a professional artist right from the beginning, or was it something that you you know were just hoping for? Well, at the beginning, it was like I remember the feeling when I signed up for the mastery. I was like so excited, like all the energy like running through my body. It was like unbelievable. And also, right after I received the video from you and Dimitra talking about you know like that you may uh, took a step into your destiny and stuff like that it was like I can't I can't even describe the feeling but yeah at that moment I was like confident that I can do it then later in the program some self-doubt appeared of course but yeah I'm just trying to you know push through them and make them like stop talking and Mm -hmm. that's great because um like kind of um with the portfolio especially it's like um something completely different from the rest of the program and i can really see that the more i paint the more i i'm like uh more confident in my process and my paintings and everything so i think that the real confidence in being a professional artist is also something that can be you know like developed over time especially for me because i you know sometimes i really have a problem with self-confidence and stuff like that and especially with painting but would you guys I'm say would you guys say that uh having a mentor and mentorship like really helped you in uh, confidence, uh, believing in yourself, really believing you can achieve things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Like really helping you in those moments when you do get stuck or you may get yeah. stuck in that belief or like, uh, it's, it's just so good to have another artist that has been there and that knows what they're doing that can just drag you up out of that little shell that you can get stuck in when you're there in the beginning. Yeah. So you can kind of walk by yourself as an artist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think that's really uh, a big important thing. I mean, of course, information is great, you know, and having having a mentor that's, you know, knowledgeable and, you know, has has experienced what they're talking about. Um, even in those little details, you know, and the problem solving like Daphne was talking about. Um, but I think that when somebody has sort of achieved a, a certain level in what you're going for and they've already sort of sort of stand in that place and achieve it, it it they speak from that position in that place and it it gives you belief that you can get there too. And it, it it's like a visual it's a it's somebody that's sort of made a path and then you kind of walk in their path a little bit and um and you know it's it's have you guys ever thought about this just came to me um have you guys ever thought about like uh you know there's almost like a chunk in art history where that idea of mentorship was kind of lost in modern art but if you look back in the old days that was very much there you know each artist each master had their own school and they would mentor mm -hmm. students they would mentor the people um you know michelangelo and leonardo da vinci they all had their own sort of group of students that followed in their footsteps uh, and then we seem to have lost that where everybody kind of went solo for a while. And now, you know, maybe it's returning a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, how do you guys feel? Did you hear what we were talking about earlier about like feeling like uh, like holding on to information and being like competitive? Like, how do you feel, uh, you know, once you've sort of achieved some success in the art field, do you feel like you would be wanting or motivated to help others and want to reach out to other artists and share your knowledge and your experience? Definitely. <laughs> I feel that this has really broken the stigma of that artists have to compete with each other. Yeah. And really brought on this of supporting each other and how important that is for the artistic community and uh, for us all to thrive and that there is place for all of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. That's great. Yeah. yeah we each, we each have like such unique um, viewpoints in history and 
things that we grew up with that like another person may not have. So we, we all bring that to this collective table. Right. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, it's just amazing. I, I mean, I think first when you, when you're not knowing certain things, you feel, you know, you may have like some of that jealousy or things within you. And, um, but as you see everybody helping each other, like, through the, especially through this program, like with any little thing, we, we, there's so many, there's so much to learn. Like we, we mm-hmm. can all, help. there's so many things like you, that you don't realize that you don't know until you all talk to each other. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of times you, you feel alone in your, um, yeah. your sort of personal turmoil with your creative process, you know, oh like, like you start to yeah. feel like, I think I'm the only one that has like yeah. bad painting days and can't figure this stuff out and ends up with muddy paint. And then you and then you hear, wait a minute. No, everybody's experiencing that. I'm not a weirdo. I'm not damaged goods. Like I'm, you know, yeah. And then it and then you feel like, you know, you, you're uh, able to get through it and kind of a part of something bigger. Yeah. I've, like uh, when I've had um, calls with Michael, he's like, yeah, I think I've had the same conversation with all of you guys this week because we're, we're all kind of going through the same same feelings. Like you're saying, like, oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't do this. Yeah. I suck at this. And, like, we're in our little house, like, doing this. But then when you when we see online what people are going through and we talk to our mentor about what people are – things we're going through, like, he's like, chill out. You're doing okay. Think about all the good things you did. List them off. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> he brings, like, they bring you, you know, we bring each other back to reality sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, well, I just have one last question, and then if you can think of a question, or you have a question, not to think of one, but if you have one, <laughs> uh, you know, feel free. Um, Katerina, I have a, just a question for you. Uh, so, uh, you know, being in, in Prague and, um, you know, y- I, I don't know if you're the only um, Czech uh, uh, student, you know, that we have, but it's like, do you find that the online experience, learning online, you know, the combination of watching videos, being a part of a, 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 um, a group, a coaching group, having a personal coach, using Zoom, using all these sort of modern tools that we have, do you feel like that has been, um, I don't know, an adequate or, or um, do you feel limited at all in your uh, growth as an artist, or do you feel like the technology that, that we have is has has been enough? Do you know what I mean? Do you feel connected? Do you feel like a part of things? And yeah, I yeah, I think it's like, of course, like uh, if I would take it on site, it would be probably maybe a little bit better because you know, like the assistance at uh, on the spot may be a little bit better but um i don't know at the beginning i was a little bit uh, worried about how it's gonna be if it be, will be you know good for me to have only these online classes and the videos and that um, also like i was thinking yeah but if i struggle with something or don't know anything like who i'm gonna ask and stuff like that and this was actually also the important aspect why I chose the coaching option because I knew that if I would be in it by myself like all the time it could be sometimes discouraging and I would feel lost but the coaching option helped a lot I I must say and uh, yeah these zoom calls and all the support groups on facebook and stuff like that people are really awesome and super helpful so i think that this works really fine and uh, especially in the portfolio section where you also share like the you know um the stories of the two students sarah and chase i think it's also like super helpful to see you know that there are people who are going through the same things and get the critiques and stuff like that. So it's really, really great. And um, I don't really feel disconnected or something like that because the community Mm -hmm. here is just awesome. Um, So Jenny, you're in Australia, right? No. (laughs) Oh, 
Uh, my accent is, though. <laughs> I grew up in Australia, but I'm actually living in Sweden. I've been living here for about 16 years Okay, now. that's right. Yeah, that's right. Now I remember. Okay, so Sweden. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, even better. So you... Um, so you you know you're quite international yourself, and um, has it surprised you, uh, sort of the connection of so many international students and artists, really from all over the world, um, that that are kind of been a part of this uh, mentoring group and and coaching group, um, you know how how much similarities there are, even though there's so many cultures, like in that creative process. Uh, to be honest, I think that, well, I don't know how it is for everybody else, but as an artistic soul, I feel quite alone in that where I live. I don't know any other artists around this area. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, and the only artists that I know are internationally and uh, from maybe some other small art courses that I've taken. And I find that there is this, this, this beautiful connection of being able to connect with other artists that regardless of where they are, it's like you're so close. Mm -hmm. And like we've even had, you know, separate small groups of people where like we have a, a Europe group that we've made of people from that started when we started in September 2019. Uh, and we talk it weekly. And oh, I know that's there great. are others that have done that too. So I think that it's something that is so beautiful and to take advantage of that and to watch each other and help each other grow along this journey. So when you're getting into this, you're not just getting the courses and the mentorship, you are getting this beautiful community. And mm. that is worth so much. Yeah. Regardless of where they are in the world. Yeah, that's and awesome. You those opportunities. You'll, you'll see them one day. <laughs> Do you have any questions or thoughts or anything you want to add? Um, I mean, I don't have any questions, but I think I, I love being a part of the group, like the coaching group and just seeing all the students from like you're saying, all over the world, and, like, some of them, like, even, like, some coaches, some students, they all kind of, like, make these groups and make friends with each other, and, yeah, I just, I love being a part of it, and, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Um, what about, uh, uh, Brian, are there any, any, anything questions? coming up or questions or anything? Um, someone said we really need Dolly on here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got someone from England, from the Netherlands. Um, yeah, someone has been thinking about getting a mentor, so they said this is a perfect topic. Oh, well, that's good. I think that's really good. I think that when you are really uh, seeking and, and wanting and desiring um, a mentor or somebody that, that can really show you the way and you've, you've opened yourself up to uh, to really learning from others, um, I think that's when you really, um, you know, it, it happens. It's like the opportunity will come. Mm -hmm. And whatever opportunity that is, um, you know, I mean, of course, we're talking about, um, you know, our school and, and the mastery program and what that can give artists um, who want a career in art. But really, this can go to any facet in life, you mm -hmm. know. Um, I know I recently... Um, about four months ago, got really serious about, you know, working out and fitness and a reg regiment in that. And I knew when I first got started, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really be able to do that on my own. I wouldn't just will myself into it by myself. And I needed, I needed help. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, so actually Miranda, um, you know, uh, mentored me in that and taught me a lot about, you know, different exercises to do or whatever. And now after a short period of time, I can, I can do it on my own. Um, I mean, it's just a tiny example, but yeah. if I was resistant to wanting to exercise and I just didn't want to do it, I mean, no matter how many people offered to help me in yeah. that, I would, I wouldn't, I would have been closed off. So, um, so yeah, I think that, that that's, that's important. Um, did we get Katarina's, uh, Instagram? I can't remember if we did that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Katarina, tell us your Instagram. I think, I think we were, we, you got cut off when we were asking. Oh. Okay. Uh, it's Katarina Flodrova.art. Oh boy. Here, her name is, her name is here. I have to write that down. <laughs> I can write it down. You have to so pronounce that like an American it. for us to be able to spell it's, it. It's her name right here. It's built out right here. Okay. 
Well, spell it out for Josh. No? Okay, okay you okay. get it after. Okay, we'll <laughs> post it. Um, well, thanks, guys. We appreciated your insight. I don't know if the, I'm sure the, um, the YouTube people, uh, the people on YouTube could hear you because we have a microphone hooked up to that. But then I don't know if the Instagram, oh, they can? Oh, that's fantastic. I guess people <laughs> on Instagram did hear you. That's great. Um, can I just add one thing? Yeah, you... absolutely. Go for it. I was just thinking, like, uh, with this program and with the mentoring, like, when, when you're growing your art business, which is what you're essentially doing with this, it's uh, so much about, you know, you're, you're really stepping up in your life altogether. Like, when you step up as an artist, you're stepping up in every area of your life all at the same time, which is why it's also so vital to have uh, that mentor with you guiding you because you're making you're really stepping up in life uh, i don't know if you guys agree with me but i totally. think it's like a change you make all over and it's like you're really choosing to step up with who you are and who you are as an artist and especially when you get into more of your style and really just getting to know yourself even more so mm -hmm. yeah absolutely that's a really good point and um, the things that come to my mind of, you know, other areas of your life that you're stepping up is, um, you know, basic or, you know, pragmatic things like, you know, time management um, mm -hmm. and and dealing with, you know, juggling lots of things at the same time, uh, being able to uh, deal with uh, minor setbacks and mm -hmm. um, and how you handle those things, finding solutions. But also just really deep stuff like very deep interpersonal things that kind of get drudged out and pulled out of you that you didn't even realize would happen or would be there and sometimes that's fears um, that we deal with sometimes it's um, uh, you know a, a lack of belief in a certain area or um, there can just be these strange things that happen in us you know triggers or or different things and um, and yeah, you're right, especially in art. Um, if you are advancing as an artist, you it's every aspect of your life really is being dealt with. Mm -hmm. And that's, I think, something that's very unique about art, as opposed to other careers, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it really calls you to be really authentic and vulnerable. Yeah, yeah, right? especially yeah. if you if, it, if you're not used to that. Um, and that's not a way that you've been. Pyle, what were you going to say? You wanted to say something. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, trying to, kind of touching off of what she was saying, um, like my, my mentor has been like a mentor of my art, but also for my, my life. And I didn't realize it. You know, I, I kind of put him to work the first, the first time we had an appointment, you know, a Zoom call. And, um, you know, I, my son was diagnosed with autism around the same time, you know, and I was like letting the waterworks go out and he was just so patient and so calm. And, you know, from then, from then till now, he's, you know, we've, he's, I don't know, we, he, I've just, and through the whole program, we, I've, you know, there's been a lot of talk about, you know, stress reduction, getting, you know, do you really need to do all those things? And I kept saying that I, I don't have time for art. I don't have time for art. And he, you know, I have to do this and I have to do that. And he would help me figure out ways to make the time. Mm -hmm. And so that was, that was really huge. And then to stop with the lack, you know, the lack thinking, like you're saying, and have more of an abundance uh, mindset, which took me a while, but um, some of those fears and resistance of, uh, I've pushed back against with his help and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been really incredible. And like now, like the art is just, it's just flowing. Yeah. That, so, that's amazing. And I think I, I've seen um, from some of your posts that like your art and your creative uh, sort of blossoming has spilled over with your son. And yeah. I see that he's been painting and experimenting and doing different things with art and, so that's that's really yeah. interesting. Is that your well, is that your older son or is that the one that was diagnosed? No, so, the, so it's the younger one. Um, my three year old son is the one with with autism. Oh, the old okay. one, he, yeah, he he loves to yeah he's he excels at things and so he likes to experiment, but he gets frustrated very easily. So he has a mm -hmm. I have to work him through those things, and so my patience and 
learning those, he went through your whole like right brain um, exercise list, mm-hmm. each one of them, <laughs> and started doing it. And he was having a lot of fun. And, the, and then he felt like less frustrated. Oh, that's mm-hmm. cool. I was like, this is so cool. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah, it has been spilling over a lot both ways. So like the art has been like taking time to do the art has calmed me down to be able to help him because when I'm calm, he's calmer, right? So if I'm stressed, he senses it. Yeah. And and then vice versa, you know. So and that I, I, that's showing up in my art with being more creative and so I, I'm incredibly thankful. Yeah, that's great. Really great. Um, well, thank you guys. We really appreciate you and uh Mm -hmm. your your sort of insight here and as people that are um you know literally in the process of of that journey and uh you know growing as an artist and and starting your businesses and and um two of you you know kind of import that portfolio development stage where you're you're already uh selling your artwork and marketing yourself and that kind of thing and and pile you'll be getting there um you're in that uh voice development part i think if i remember right so um so yeah very very cool very interesting to hear your perspective Mm -hmm. and we just appreciate you thank you for everything and thank you for having us on yeah thanks for thanks for joining us okay bye (laughs) bye thank you bye Okay, so there's a question, so that's good. Georgia Lancaster asks, do you ever have issues with a student taking too much inspiration from their coach to the point where their art is actually reflecting the same style as their coach? Oh, that's a good question. So the question was, uh, do you ever have um, a student that is uh, sort of emulating or taking too much um, from the mentor where their art style is actually too close to the mentor. So Daphne, what about you? Do you, do you feel like that's something that happens? I've definitely seen it like with a lot of students where they, uh, cause you know, like a part of the voice section we have, like we help them, we like tell them about emulation. So like we tell them to find art that they like and kind of incorporate it into their, uh, process. But, um, like, we, we, we in that part of the program it's more about like emulating multiple artists in one painting so I think like I've seen a few students like kind of go too much following one artist kind of incorporating them their style too much but eventually it seems like eventually everyone kind of just like mm-hmm. makes their own style it's kind of just a part of the process a little bit and they yeah I don't know they find more of their style in, yeah along the way yeah, I've seen it a lot in students, um, whether they are sort of emulating, uh, uh, mostly I see them emulating, you know, Dimitra's style or, um, or, or even Dahlia's style or your style. And you see bits and pieces or other artists, and I can kind of recognize the artist that mm-hmm. they are emulating and drawing from. But I really feel like that's a part of the growing process. That is a big part uh of it used to bother me when I would see that and worry me and I would think oh no you know don't they have their own ideas and but I, then I realized because I saw so many students that would quickly uh grow out of that yeah. and it would really only last about at the most four or five paintings mm-hmm. um it wasn't like they spent years doing this it was just yeah a few paintings to kind of, I think, understand a process or, um, and I have myself emulated other artists uh, and because I'm trying to figure out how did they do what they did. And and it's just a part of the growth process. It's not, um, I don't think it's anything to feel ashamed of or worry about as long as you sort of acknowledge it and understand, yeah, I'm, I'm being influenced by this person right now Mm -hmm. because I'm trying to understand how they did something, but I'm going to definitely move on from that and, um, incorporate, you know, some of my own ideas or this or that. And also your point of emulating many, not just one, um, is helpful because if, if you just emulate one, you can get stuck in that style, I think. Uh, but if you are incorporating four or five artist sort of styles and and picking and choosing. And really that book, Steal Like an Artist by Austin Kleon is, is, uh, you know, talking about that, that, you know, one plus one equals three, 
not mm. one plus one equals two. So, um, yeah. so yeah, really, really, that was a good question. So, um, okay, well, um, so that is it for uh, this episode of um, Light Movement. Thanks for joining us. And um, thank you, Daphne. Yeah, it was really, really fun. I like being a part of it. Yeah, and, and um, it, was, it was cool having those mm -hmm. students. Yeah. Um, so just for, uh, you know, the, the people here live, just really quick, um, we just want to uh, let everybody know that we have registration open for the um, uh, mastery program, our one-year mastery program. So the students that you saw in there, um, those three students are in the process of, of going through that program, two are about to graduate and, and finishing, and one uh, has, is kind of like a third of the way through. And it's a really fantastic program that um, takes an artist from at any point, any skill level, um, a beginner to uh, you know somebody that's been painting a while, doesn't really matter, um, and in one year um, takes their passion for art uh, into a profession and by the time they graduate they have a, a portfolio of at least 30 pieces um, of a cohesive body of work um, they have a website they have a business plan they have business strategy um, they have uh, they've learned about marketing and how to market themselves in modern times with with you know social media and all the different uh, marketing tools that we have um, we have a, as you know, a mentor pro program with it, where you are assigned a mentor um, that works with you through throughout the program. Uh, it teaches skill building in the beginning with oil painting, drawing, um, and then how to develop your unique voice and develop your style as an artist. Uh, Daphne, you went through that program mm -hmm. um, and uh, graduated, you know, a few years ago. What, like four years ago? I think so. Yeah. And um, it definitely launched your career. Um, you, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And uh, we've had a lot of success with it. Um, I would say anybody who's graduated from the program that paints on a regular basis and applies the knowledge that they learn is successful. So mm -hmm. um, we're really proud of that. And um, it's, it's just a great program. So registration is open just till Saturday. And then that's it. There's... there's um, um, you know, it's closed until uh, a few months from now. Maybe in the summer we'll open it again. And um, so if you are thinking about that and you um, are sort of on the fence, I would just say uh, go for it um, because uh, people that really apply themselves in this program um, find a lot of success and really, really grow as an artist and figure out what their style is and end up with amazing skills and um, and a fantastic business. So mm -hmm. uh, it's a great program, and I really encourage you to register if you're thinking about it. And, of course, if you have any questions, you can contact us and ask your questions, and we can help you with that. And anything, Dino, we're good? Okay, well, so that's it. Thanks, guys, um, and we will see you next week. <laughs>